this is uh, Mike, your 4,000 uh, subscriber winner of the Heritage Rough Rider. I just wanted to give you a little video here and uh, show the YouTubers and uh, E-Squad fans that your, your gun came. It's a beauty. And you can see here from the picture, can you see that? Mm -hmm. from the picture and I already got the uh, the cylinder for the 22 Magnum and I couldn't be happier with it it's a uh, it's really remarkably well built uh, so I can't thank you enough George this is really a really a surprise especially for a guy like me who never wins anything you know I I'm really I'm really surprised and I just wanted to thank you uh, and your channel for this wonderful gift. Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on H. I'm trying to work my way through every caliber of H&R handygun ever made. And today, the H&R Bull, this is a bull barrel. This thing's heavy as all get out. Got a nice target crown in the end of it. This is the H&R Handygun in caliber 204 Ruger. Now, we traded for this gun at the last gun show in Indiana, you know, and we got it, and it came to us with everything on it. Sling, scope bases, scope. It's got a bush deal, 3x9, and fully adjustable on it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it came to us with a scope on it, so they said, well, take it out and test fire it and make sure it works right. Take it out. And so I'm like, you know, you might as well take it out and make a video with it. Because I am trying to work through all the handy guns. So this is the 204 Ruger caliber handy gun. Now the 204 is a, the ammunition we're using today is Hornady Performance Varmint which is a, let's read it off the box here and see what it is. 32 grain VMAX Ultra Varmint. Yeah, performance ammunition. Okay, uh, I don't know what the velocity rating of this ammunition is. It doesn't say it on the box. Uh, I'm reading it here. And it doesn't say what the actual velocity of it is. So, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, no, that can't be right. 4,225 feet per second at 100 yards. That's in the smoking that's in the bullet smoking velocity range. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to shoot a few at 125 yards and see. But right now we've got a 25 yard zero target set up down there. And we're going to see if we can see if it's actually got a zero on it. Put one in. It's a handy gun. Lock that guy up. <clears throat> Get me some ear mufflers on. I got a feeling this is going to be loud. Uh, okay. Get her cocked here. Let's see what we do. Well, we can see it pretty good. What's, what power does this thing sit on? Let's run it down to about four. I like the zero guns at four power. All right, here we go. And that's either a bullseye or I completely missed the paper, one of the two. Okay, out of there. Back to the backy. Get us another one. Shoot us three. Shoot us three and see how it shoots. Okay.
can't get on it here. Let's see. appears to shoot pretty good. You know, I never could figure out why <clears throat> anybody would trade a gun that they had all zeroed in and ready to go. Pretty good shooting gun. All right, boys and girls, let's go down there and look at it, see what it actually looks like. <clears throat> Ruger developed this caliber a few years ago. I think it came out in 2004. Uh, it was based on the <clears throat> 222 Remington Magnum. And it took off pretty good as varmint caliber. I don't own one myself, but okay. So we got two. Look at that. Nice little cluster right there. One, two, three. Okay. That is an outstanding group. Oh, it ain't on the paper. But it ain't on the bullseye. But uh, these guys tend to climb. These hypervelocity bullets tend to climb at close range. So I'm saying that thing probably got a 150 yard zero on it. So let's see what we can do. We've got our 125 yard targets. Let's see if we can hit the old steel groundhog. You know, that's a eight inch diameter uh, old Scott Pack air bottle with the top cut off of it turned upside down on a steel peg, which mimics the size of a groundhog at that range standing on his haunches looking around. Let's see what happens. That's a hit. That is a hit. Okay. Let's give us one or two more. That's another one. <laughs> you know me, I can't own them all. I like these little hypervelocity guns. They're small, they don't have much recoil, they're not hard to reload for. Alright, let's get ambitious and see if we can hit the... There's a 5x5 five five inch and three quarter thick steel plate sitting on a t-post down there to see if we can knock it off <clears throat> nope I <laughs> turned it around sideways <laughs> so it shot about six inches high at 25 yards and it's just about I'm giving it a little bit of a little bit of Kentucky winded to compensate for it, but uh, it shoots a real tight group. You know, this is a good gun. H&R is no longer in business as we know them, you know. H&R uh, is completely out of business now. They're a, a name. 
you know, that's basically traded around like those Chinese Steven shotguns that fly apart in your hands when you're shooting it. You know, they're just a name. Uh, no, uh, no affiliation whatsoever with the parent company. Uh, this one's actually manufactured by Harrington Richardson's and is in a hundred percent condition. It's well scoped and well set up. It shoots good. It shoots a good tight group. Uh, the value of this gun just as it sits is a set up zeroed ready to go gun in 95% condition or better. It's somewhere around $400. Uh, handy guns have always been popular. They're going to continue to be popular. And now that they're no longer in production, people will pay more and more to get them because they're a good, solid gun. They work. Uh, the 204 Ruger is, you know, it's a coyote turner inside outer. Okay, it's a groundhog exploder. Uh, take note, you want this gun, this individual gun, it can be found at uh, at uh, Candy Fork Sportsman Center down in Somerset, Kentucky. Uh, contact information on the end of this video. Uh, so that's about the size of it. Like, take, share, if I commentate, and subscribe. Uh, God bless y'all in these dangerous times, and uh, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.